Hello, my name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight I thought we'd do a little color and chat, um, but tonight it's going to be a little bit different for a color and chat. Um, I am going to color in Anti-Stress Color by Numbers. It's David Woodroth. And this is more of a detailed coloring book. So, I'll show you what it looks like here. Here are some of the images. I'll show you a quick little peek at some of the images. There's the introduction. And these are actually color by number two, so you can color these as well if you like to do that, which I might do that at some point. Um, this is the only picture I have colored in here so far. It did take me quite a while, but I do like how it came out. At first I wasn't sure, but I do like it. And tonight, we're going to color this one. Now, I probably won't finish this tonight because it is a pretty big picture and it is pretty detailed, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try, not promising that I'll get halfway. We'll see how far we come. And then the back of this book, it also has the color chart. So, hold that up a little bit for you. So, those are all the colors. And they stay the same throughout the whole book. So, what I'm going to do, you guys won't really see it, but I'm going to fold the page over so I can see the colors. So, I picked out, there's 28 colors total. Um, I picked out 14. I want to try to do 14. And the new thing that's different is that I'm going to be coloring with colored pencils tonight. I usually color with markers for you guys, but tonight I wanted to do some colored pencils. And when the picture is done completely, if I don't really like it, I might, might try to add my own kind of blending into the picture. So yeah. I thought that would be something fun and different, um, so let's get started. So the blank spaces on here, it says to leave white, and I'll hold up the picture as I color each number. So number one, I am starting with pale pink. So I'm going to look for number one, and I'm going to use, I'm actually using a variety of colored pencils. I just picked out which colors I thought would look the best. Uh, this is a Prismacolor, and this is, um, I think it says 743 Deco Pink. I might be wrong. But that's what I'm going to be using. It's very light. So, let's see what I can find for the number ones, and they are very tiny prints. So, if I do have to go back, that's fine. Just gonna see what I can find right now for the number ones. Okay, I didn't see anything down here. So I'm looking upward more to see. So I'm not even seeing any number ones, so I wonder if they even have the number one in the picture. I do see some of the other numbers of the colors I pulled out, so maybe we'll have to jump to those. But that's okay. I didn't really look too much at the picture. I knew it was flowers, and I was thinking I'll just pull out the first 14 colors and we'll go from there. Let's see if they have any number twos or threes. Number two is a mid pink and number three is a dark pink. And those would look really pretty for flowers. So I 
Well, then I'm going to start wherever I feel like it, and we'll see where we come up. So I'm going to start at number eight because I see an eight here, and it's going to be mid green, and I'll show you that color. Okay, so the mid green I'm using is a Statler colored pencil. This is the color I thought would look good for mid green. So let's get started. I probably should have looked, but I was so excited just to color. And most of my color by numbers have a good chunk. You know, they have all the colors, but if they don't, they have the only color listed on that by that page, but this doesn't really show that, so that's a bummer, but that's okay. It's good, I just need to look. So how is everyone doing tonight? I hope you are all doing well and that you're happy and you're healthy. Are you guys coloring along? What are you guys doing tonight? Do any of you have this coloring book? It's a nice coloring book. I mean, I think the paper feels like Creative Haven paper. If you guys have any of those books, I think that's what it kind of feels like. It might be a little bit thinner, but pretty close. This is going to be pretty. I think for some leaves it's going to be. And I try not to look what the picture looks like. I mean, I can see that it's flowers, obviously, but I don't want to really look at the answer key, I should say. So the one picture that I did color in here, I did find that to be very, very relaxing. It did take me quite a while, but something about that picture just... Well, it was a bird. Unlike some type of pond. Just the setting of it was nice, so that probably helped with the relaxing. When you color such... I don't know, when I color such nice pictures like that, it just instantly sets my mood to a good mood. I don't know, are any of you like that, where there's a certain picture that you start coloring and you're instantly, like, relaxed? And usually when I stop and pick my pencil up, I am looking at the numbers. And maybe it's just color by number, but while well, the other coloring books that aren't color by number can be relaxing too, but with color by number, I don't have to think too much. I might have to find where the color is going to go, but it's still pretty nice. There's going to be quite a bit of eights in here, I can tell you that right now. So this is probably going to be my main, my main color. I did sharpen my pencils before I started the video, so...
hopefully I don't have to sharpen them again because my uh, sharpener can be kind of loud unless you guys don't mind. What's a really good pencil sharpener that you guys find works the best with pencils? Was Or is there a certain kind that works with certain pencils better? I just use an electric one. One my son and daughter color. They're, and I'm using my own colored pencils and they're using theirs. They're obsessed with sharpening in the electric sharpener. My daughter, I have to kind of tell her she doesn't need to sharpen it unless it's dull because she likes to do it. She's so independent. And my son likes to sharpen his too, but he knows when he needs to sharpen them. But he usually won't ask to use my sharpener, so his will get like really dull. And then when I pull out, if we're coloring together, I might pull out my sharpener. Because usually we all color at the dining room table. And um, then he'll be like so excited because he won't ask me, but then he'll know that I'm getting my pencils out. So then he'll get his and sharpen his. then but otherwise he won't unless I pull out my pencils if I'm coloring with my markers he no he'll color with his markers he likes to color with the same stuff I color with and my kids are getting so excited for Christmas my son's like can we open presents now and my daughter because they seen some presents under the tree from mom and dad I don't know if they know that they're from us I told them they have to be good because Santa will bring them more if they're good but they just want the presents I remember being excited when I was little My kids are pretty good, too, like for presents. They're not one to throw a fit if they don't get something that they want. Because most of the time they want everything. Well, sorry, can't get everything. But they're pretty good about what they get. They're pretty thankful, which is good, I think. I can't believe Christmas is coming. It went by fast, I think, the month of December. Really fast, in like a blink of an eye. My son had stayed home from school yesterday. He had a fever. It was pretty low, but you know, when they have a fever, you do have to keep him home. So we thought, because he has a cold that just started up, so he just stayed home and rest. Laid in bed all the day, most of the day. I should say most of the day, not all day, but most of the day. And laid back and watched some movies. And... He didn't fall asleep, though. I thought for sure he would have taken a nap, but he didn't. And then he took a nice warm bath last night and got snuggly and got into bed. And this morning he woke up and he was super happy and the fever was gone. Still has a little bit of a cold, but he didn't have a fever. And they had their school Christmas party at school today. So that was exciting.
tomorrow they get to bring a stuffed animal for a movie in the afternoon. Uh, they have mass in the morning and then they get to have a movie. So he was pretty excited about that, that he got to bring a stuffed animal for the afternoon. He's bringing his Pokemon, Charizard. That's his favorite. Got it for his birthday from mom and dad. He is obsessed with stuffed animals. Like, he loves stuffed animals. I want to get one of those, um... They look like beanbag covers, but you put your stuffed animals in them. And they can sit on them or whatever, but fills them up. Because in his room, we don't really have a spot to hang. I don't know, they call them animal hammocks, I think. In his sister's room, we have a spot to hang. And we might have to do that with her, but she doesn't have as many stuffed animals as he does. She has dolls, though. She loves dolls. Do any of you, you guys have one of those bean bags for stuffed animals? I don't know, I call them bean bags. They're not really bean bags, but they look like covers for them. Maybe that's what they are and they just call it something else. I'm not sure. But yes, they're very excited for that. Um, so. Christmas is coming soon and they're ready. Tonight we did some leftovers for supper. Had quite a bit and we try to do leftovers on Thursdays, maybe more during the week because garbage truck comes on Fridays. We don't want to keep stuff too, too long. So I had some barbecue meatballs in the fridge that were left over um white cheddar homemade mac and cheese and then i had originally cut up some and cooked with it um cranberry chicken sausage so we did that and then i had some taco meat with black beans sometimes with when we cook taco meat well, there's a hair sorry my eyelash sometimes when we cooked taco meat if to make it go further I'll add sometimes I'll add like refried beans or black beans and we like black beans in our tacos sometimes so that's what I did we did we did um so yeah my husband had some tacos and I had a little bit of mac and cheese and some meatballs my son had mac and cheese my daughter she just wanted a sandwich and the kids had some penguin crackers. My daughter's really picky. She doesn't like, she likes craft mac and cheese. And I, and I try to make homemade stuff when I can, but sometimes, you know, it's quick and easy. So she'll eat that. But I said, no, we got to eat the leftovers. So she wanted a sandwich. So made her a sandwich. I told them if they were really good tonight, tomorrow we'd go, we'd watch um, the new Trolls movie, Band Together. I want to see that too, honestly. I love the Trolls movies. I love the first and the second one. I like the second one a lot. Like, I think I almost like it more than the first, and I really liked the first. So, I'm going to see the new one, I think. That'd be something fun to do for our movie nights and popcorn. Um, didn't really get to do any of that this week because 
sometimes if we have supper super early, I'll let them watch a movie and have a little bit of popcorn as like a snack after supper. And tonight we didn't get to have the time since my son was home yesterday. He had some homework he needed to do to get caught up on and had to study for his spelling test. And he has to read 20 minutes a night for school. So that's what we did. My daughter just played with their babies in her kitchen. She loves to pretend she's making meals. She likes to bring them out for me and her dad to try and she'll tell us what it is. This morning she was playing and she's like, Mom, I made you some porridge. <laughs> she's so funny. You know, and of course we play with her and pretend we're eating it and she loves it. Okay, I'm just looking for any more eights. Just kind of going around. I'm sure I might miss some. I usually do when I'm, I have to go back. All right, let's see. So it's starting to come along. So yeah, tonight I just decided to color in a little more detailed book because I don't really do that too often and I haven't colored in with colored pencils for you guys yet. At some point I'll have to color in one of my regular coloring books too. And I just decided, yeah, I'll use some colored pencils. So, well, this is pretty detailed too. And I have some markers with really fine tips, but I don't know if I'd have all the colors I was looking for with very fine tips. I might have, but I guess I didn't really look, but I was just thinking at the top of my head. So yeah, this will probably be a two part video. Um, I'm not going to make it be a third. If it does push out that long, I will just finish it. There is quite a bit of little spots. Okay, gotta look for some more. Who knows, I might use a little bit of marker in here too. I keep finding my eyelash on the paper. started a new book early this morning before my daughter was up because I woke up my son and you know he eats and he takes his own shower and I usually try to get in a 
nice cup of coffee and read a little bit. That's usually when I read. It's either late at night when the kids are in bed, both of them, or early in the morning when my son is getting ready for school. I actually am reading a couple of books. If you are a reader, what are the books that you're currently reading or book? I'd be interested to hear to see if maybe I've read it or maybe something I'm interested in. This year I am going to try to read more of my own books, but some I will have to probably get from the library if I'm like continuing like a series or there's an author I really like and I don't have the book. I've read 40 books so far this year and that's all when my kids are sleeping. Or like I said, early in the morning when my daughter is. I think the longest book that I read was The Stand by Stephen King though. It's over a thousand pages. Kind of intimidating because I was thinking, oh my goodness, I'm never going to be able to read this. And I had started it early in the year and then I put it aside for a while because so I was like, oh, I just need a break. And then I decided one day to pick it back up and I'm like, you know, it's been a while since I put it down, so I'm just going to start all over. And I did and I kept going. So I'm reading The Long Walk by Stephen King. Have any of you read that? I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it if I am I mean it's okay basically this there's tons a group of boys that have to they call it the long walk where they have to walk so far and they can't stop otherwise you know things happen to them they're no longer will be living so they have to keep walking and find ways to survive while walking while they're tired and I don't want to tell too much because that's pretty much what it is but there are a lot of characters in there, so I get a little bit confused sometimes. Like, I'll be set on a bunch of them. And then a few more will jump in, and I'm like, wait, and then we'll go back, and I'll be like, wait a minute. But it's okay. I'm going to finish it. What else am I reading? I'm trying to think. I am reading a true story um, that happened in Wisconsin. And I've, it's, I've always wanted to read about it. It's horrific and sad. I'm reading Slender Man. And I don't remember who wrote that book. But I am reading it. And I don't really want to go into detail. Probably has some triggers in it. Trigger warnings. And I remember it being on the news when I was younger and, well, I wasn't like young living at home young, but when I was younger, and I don't know why I like to, I like to read like true stuff and I love to read horror and thriller books and I don't know why I do that to myself because sometimes I have nightmares still. It's like, oh, why do I do this? I just can't put them down. Then I also read romance.
reading a couple romance books. Or if you call them smut, I'm reading that, a couple of those. And I started another book that I think is like a cozy mystery. It's called Death Becomes Her. I just started that one. I'm rereading the Twilight books. Yes, I read those years ago, but I love those books and I love the movies. I don't think I will ever not like them. I think they get better each time I read them. And I haven't read them in a very long time. I'm on the third book by Stephanie Meyer. And it's Eclipse. It's so good. I'm also reading The Martian by Andy Weir. Um, I have seen the movie and I'll probably watch it. It's been a long time since I've watched it after I read the book. Because I never read the book. I just started. It's a book I own. I just started it. And I think that's all that I'm reading. Like, I read so much and then I put the book down and the next time I might try something else. If I'm getting, like, if I'm reading too much of one book and then I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm going to take a break for a minute. But yeah, I'm, for the most part, enjoying my books. And those some are just, ugh, I don't know. I don't know why I read them. Whenever I'm coloring, I always think you guys are going to see my head. I put my big head in there. Because sometimes I, like, lean way forward. But I think my camera's far enough back there that can't see my head have it hanging over the picture I don't want to do that I do have a couple whips I'm working on I actually have two and I'm hoping I can finish them before the end of the month. One is a Christmas picture, one is not. So I have colored. I color in basically whatever I'm in the mood for at the time when I'm coloring. So yes, one is a Christmas picture. It's a very detailed Christmas picture. I'm liking how it's turning out. Um, some of the colors in it that I had chosen I wasn't too sure about after I had chosen them. But it still looks good, I think. Okay, let's see. Just looking around, I'm sure I've seen another eight somewhere. Oh, here is one. Oh, those are big ones over here. Now the oh yeah, I said they were staler. I'm not sure how I feel about these type of colored pencils. They're kind of. I mean, they color. I like the colors of them, but they are a little harder. Maybe I'm just not used to them. I don't use them enough. That's okay. I'll wear them in. Like all my stuff. That's the plan.
really do like this green. This is mid green. There is an apple green. This one kind of looks like an apple green to me, but that's okay. I wonder, oh, that's number 12. Good thing I didn't go in there. I almost went into a different part to color in eights, but I had to look at it again. Oh well, I make mistakes. And usually I say it too. I'll be like, whoops, I colored the wrong spot. Or whoops, that color does not look okay, but that's fine. It's still fun. As long as I enjoy the picture and the process, I'm I'm good. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. One thing I do like about most of the colored pencils I have is that most of them have the colored pencil name or color, color name on them. And I like that a lot because I don't know, sometimes some colors look different to me and if they don't have like a name or something I can picture it as. I think it's one color when it's not. So it's nice when they have the name so I can kind of now these ones they don't have a name on them that I can see. I think there's just like a H6 it says. I don't know if that's supposed to be the number of the color or if you guys know about these colored pencils, let me know. Or maybe I can just Google it or something. Maybe it will tell me and create like my own chart for all my pencils. I would like to do that some at some point. Because right now a lot of my colored pencils that I have are just in, um, I don't know if you call it like a, looks like a little briefcase tote, like a portfolio tote or what, but that's where all my colored pencils are. Well, not all, I should, most of them. And I need to go through them and like swatch them and look at the colors, but that's going to take some time do it at some point but I'm not sure when and that's okay so yeah if, I'm thinking I might do some blending in here a little bit some other colors over the pencil. We'll see. I'm thinking, I'm picturing it, but we'll see when the picture is complete if I do that. And that would be something I'd probably do not on video. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Any of you listen to ASMR? Like you like certain noises? Sometimes I like the noise of pencils. But I don't like when my markers squeak. Oh, I just thought of something. Have any of you guys that have the shuttle art markers, do you know if you can refill those markers? I'm just curious because some of mine are running out. You know, I can always purchase new, but like my Dabo and Shobo, I was able to pop them off and refill one of them. And if I'm able to do that, I might just save 
some of my markers that aren't working because I have others I can always use. And then do like a video of how I can how I fill them. But I only have one right now, so I gotta first see, get some more than just one. Maybe have some different markers and we'll go from there. So yeah, I like when they have the color pencils have the name on them. If they don't, it's fine, but it's helpful when they do. But most of mine have the name. I don't think, I don't think U.S. Art Supply has the name or Artist Choice have the name. They might have on the packages, but half the time I get rid of those. I know I've had them for years. I got rid of the packages and just put them in a, the tote. I've been getting better at saving packages now, <laughs> but I don't even know if, I don't think so. It's either the U.S. Art Supply or the Artist Choice. I don't even think they had the colors in the back, if I remember right. Maybe they did. I don't know. It's been a long time ago. Okay, here's some more down here. There's going to be quite a bit of green in here. So in my Dabo and Shobo markers, they have this really light gray. It almost looks white. So I did use that in one of my pictures that I colored that I'm going to show at the end of the month for my completed pages. And I kind of used it as like a highlight. It's a Christmas picture that I colored. And it's not a color by number. And I really like that, so I might use that in here for the white spots. We'll see. We'll see what the white, where the white ends up if I have any in this picture. sure what type of flowers these are going to be though. Maybe a... I'm thinking. Well, maybe a water lily or a tulip. I wonder if they say I didn't really look in the back. I probably should when I'm done. <laughs> Do you guys like to look to see what you're coloring? Or do you like it more of a surprise like I do? I mean, if I'm specifically looking for a picture for like a Christmas picture, for example, in one of my color by numbers, because I did in one of my mindwear books, I have to look at the back to see what I'm going to color because I can't tell. So I did one of those in there for Christmas too. Got a couple Christmas pictures and some I've colored for you guys and then I did some regular ones too. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of eights that I'm totally missing. But I just want to look in this these little spots. Okay, here's an eight.
think we're getting there though. We're almost done with the apes. And like I've said in my previous videos, I used to always like start at the top of pictures. So I would keep taking out multiple colors and going like that. But I kind of like just doing the one color at a time thing and going back now. Because you can see more of the picture too. As you're coloring. How many of you have Amazon and wish lists that are never ending? I feel like mine always are. Some of the stuff, you know, I'll get once in a while, I'll take it off my list. Me for anything, you know, not just color books, but other stuff on my list that I'll be like, oh, put that on the list and get them at some point. Oh, and you know what I just found out? So, if you've seen my December haul, I talked about how I was supposed to be getting a Christmas coloring book. Well, I will not be getting that anymore. They canceled the order. I was not charged, thank goodness. because they were no longer making it anymore. So I don't even know why it was listed. Unless they had so many in stock and just didn't put that there. Or maybe I didn't see it, I don't know. So I don't, I'm not gonna get that coloring book anymore, but that's okay. I've been looking at some coloring books that I plan on getting for next month. Kind of just browsing. And I'm not going crazy. I'm just going as much as I want to go crazy and buy a ton. I'm just, I really am going through thousands of them. Deciding, you know, what am I into now? Kind of want to try to stick with that, hopefully, the whole year. Instead of just getting a bunch of stuff that, I don't know, that I want and I'll never color in. So I'm really trying to color in all my coloring books. The ones I have, I love them all. Just sometimes life gets in the way and... Gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, we're getting closer. So I think just this little bit is going to be the eights and we can jump to another color. If you're coloring, what are you coloring tonight? Or what hobby are you doing tonight? Or are you just watching and hanging out? Sometimes in color and chats, I just watch and hang out. 
Um, other times I color and look up and I try to leave comments on a lot of the videos that I watch. Because everybody's so good and everybody has their own talent, you know? We're all different and I love it. Okay, I'll hold this up after the color is done, or I think it's done anyway. Oh, I see one up here being sneaky. So I wanted to do all 14 colors tonight, but I don't think I have all those 14 colors in this picture of the ones that I set out. So I'll probably just do a few of them and color good and then do one more color and chat after this video. And then I'll finish the rest if I don't finish it on. Because you guys know I color slow. I take my time. I wish I could color faster sometimes, but my anxiety would just be like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then my mind would be running 100 million miles an hour. Okay, well, oh, I found one more, and then I think we're going to start a new color. Okay, let me double check quick. Make sure we got the eights to what I can see real quick. Okay, that's what I can see. So let me lift this up for you guys and show you oh sorry I'm bumping into this little stand thing that's there that's how it's looking so far so that's kind of interesting okay I think I'm going to do number 10 which is pale blue so let me put this in here and try not to mix up my colors okay I've got that stuff here okay Okay, got pale blue. I'm using cloud blue, bleh, cloud blue, excuse me, Scholar Prismacolor. This is going to be 10 pale blue. That's what I'm using for that. Okay, so the 10s are going to be right here. Hopefully this one doesn't break off because I don't think, ooh, that's pretty. It's going to be hard to see, I think, this color on the camera. So I might have to hold this up too. But I think my sharpener does not like the Prismacolor Scholar pencils. I mean, there is a sharpener I know for Prismacolor. I've seen it. I just don't have it. I just use what I got. Oh, you can kind of. They almost look like. So 
So it was cloudy here today. I think we had a high of like 41. So it was a perfect day to color. Didn't really get to color today, but that's okay. So lately my daughter has been asking, Mom, you want to color? Like, sure. So I'll get to color a little bit with her. But she didn't want to today. She didn't ask, so I'm guessing she didn't want to then. How is the weather where you guys are at? First day of winter today. I'm actually excited. Just kind of weird that we don't have snow where I'm at. Usually we get a little bit of snow or have some snow, but no. No snow at all. And they're saying for temperature wise, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we might break a record for December and having like, of, of having it being so warm, like in the 40s and no snow. So usually we have snow, but no. And honestly, right now I'm ready for snow. I like, I like to have snow on Christmas. It just something seems so magical when it comes down and it's snow on the Christmas on Christmas and it doesn't always feel like Christmas when there's not snow to me because I'm so used to having that but I know it is Christmas and it'll be fun and happy and everything we do will be fun and everything that day spending time with family playing games Yeah, Christmas evening we go to my parents' house and we're making chili. My husband said he'll make the chili whole bunch in a crock pot. My niece is making like a charcuterie chili board. She said she was going to bring some games. We usually play games Christmas Eve. My sister's going to make like pull apart pizza bread. That's actually really good. My sister-in-law is going to make cocktail weenies and a few other things. And then I'm not sure what my other sister or what anyone else is bringing. But that's what we're doing. And then Christmas Day will be at home with the kids and opening presents and having ham and potatoes and pie and green bean casserole and I'll probably bring some over to my parents. Um, my mom can't walk too well so usually they just say they lately on Christmas Day they say they just stay home. So, usually bring, my husband always says, let's go bring some to your parents. So, we'll probably bring some food to them, too. And I think one evening at their house, Christmas Eve is kind of a lot for them. It gets tiring. They are older, so... And heck, I get tired after all that. Not just being older, it's just I get tired. It's a lot of work. But it's fun.
but I can't complain. I was pretty happy that we had pretty decent weather for so long. And I love fall, so it's been nice, but now I am ready for the winter. Well, like, I'm sure my husband's not ready for snow blowing and shoveling. I always offer to, like, do the, you know, I'll go outside and say, I can shovel, you know, and he never wants me to. He just will do it. My son likes to go and help him. But he never wants me to do it, so. Okay. That's pretty nice of him, though. He is a good man. He's really good to us, too. These are going to be pretty flowers. I'm not sure what type they are, but... I think they're going to be really pretty. I don't know why I think of violets. I don't think they're violets. But the the pale blue, like almost purplish color makes me think of that. I think that's why. I've seen so many neat videos of people's craft rooms. I don't have a craft room. I have a built-in desk in my basement. I have a shelf, a smaller shelf that's like a small older bookcase that has my coloring books. But I am happy I have this. It's nice to color in the peace and quiet down here. And it is a finished basement, so. You know, if you have a hobby, you just make it work. I'm, I'm thankful for this. And then we have, um, my husband got it at a garage sale. I think at a garage sale, he was in her own site. There's this old dresser that someone had painted white and has like teal drawers. And he, I don't know, there's like this old white bookshelf we had that had like three shelves. He like nailed it onto the top, so I used that too. So the drawers I just used for like, pencils and storage for that stuff and then the shelves I just put my work in progress and maybe what I plan on doing stuff like that on there I might sound weird but I love it we make do Okay, there's going to be quite a bit of tens. I think they're going to be all over, all over here.
so I've been thinking I want to make like challenge myself kind of for the new year so I started my YouTube channel this year in late October so my goal is to color in if I were to color in all of them I would say that's really lucky but I'm gonna say most of my coloring books at least once if not more so I want to do at least once for sure in my coloring books. It'd be awesome if I could do all of them. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have way more of coloring books than I do, but I am a very slow color. And then I was thinking like around the year mark, I'm still coloring away in October next year, I could do like a video of maybe all the coloring books I colored in for the whole year from like end of October till end of October. And then also the coloring books I purchased. So that would have to be probably December to December because that's when I did my first haul was December. So yeah, like all the coloring books I purchased then. So those are just some fun things I thought would be fun. I don't know. What do you guys think? Something a little different or... Let me know in the comments what you think. Now, as far as like newer content, if you want to see that, like doing backgrounds or something, I will eventually do them at some point. I would like to practice those first. I just want to feel comfortable doing them. But I am thinking of maybe doing some point, I'm not sure when, about doing a skin tone one, doing it on video. Now I don't even know what I'm doing with skin tones, so maybe once I do it you guys can give me some pointers and I will take them. Or if you think it looks good, or... Never learn until we try, I guess. So that's what I'm willing to try. I missed one over here. Okay. And I'm not perfect. I will get out of the lines. Probably in every picture. And you know what? That's okay. Has anybody heard anyone say life isn't fun unless we get out of the lines a little? <laughs> I've heard that before.
My son today drew the Grinch. I should have brought it down to show you guys. Oh, he did such a good job. I can't draw like that, not even close. He said it's a Grinch Titan. I don't know what that is, but I thought it looked like the Grinch and I thought it looked great. <laughs> He just draws so good. It's been a few times at school his teacher had to tell him not to draw and he knows now we've talked to him. If she says to stop, you need to stop because she lets him do stuff like that once in a while but he gets carried away with drawing. He loves it. So I'm glad he found something that he loves. We just can't do that all the time in school. I think his dad's pretty good at drawing too. He says he's not, but I think he's pretty good too. Not me. And I didn't like drawing in school. I dreaded it actually. Because I knew, I just, I don't know what it was. I just couldn't do it right. My favorite subjects in school were reading and spelling. Now my spelling might not be as good as it was, but it used to be good. <laughs> I still like to read though. Okay, let's see. Do you guys hunch down when you color or do you sit straight up? That's my problem. I've always like leaned way into the picture. I've done that my whole life. Like I try to sit up sometimes straight, but like if we sit in the dining room chairs and color with the kids, oof, that is not good on the back. I'll color with them, but. I try to make myself sit straight so my back ain't sore. The chair I sit in now is actually a desk chair, so it's comfy. Not a dining room chair. Danny, you use the dining room? Excuse me, I cannot talk tonight. A dining room chair, is it comfortable for you? Do you lean way over like I do? Okay, I think we're getting close to being done with the tens. Getting there. All right, let's see. Let's 
So I've been watching some watercolor videos and I would like to learn. Honestly, it intimidates me a little bit because I'm not like a painter. So do you guys use watercolors? If you do, what do you think are the best watercolors for beginners? Because I would like to try it, but ones that work well for beginners. And is there a certain book you use or certain to color with them or paint with them? I'm just looking for some options and things to look into and because I still want to do the foil that I talked about a long time ago with the that lady that did it at like that store with the fish that I thought was so cool so I have that stuff on my wish list just so I remember when I go and check out things at some point that I can put a couple pan pastels on there because I've never used those and I've seen videos where people have done them quite a few of you and you all do a good job and I want to learn how to use those too now do you have to put anything over them I don't think I've seen anything where anybody put anything over them Like when I did that one diamond painting that I finished, I did Mod Podge over that. Which I still think about doing those. Just haven't had the time. Or you know. And I don't have like any special set up with my diamond paintings you know I just kind of use well a long time ago when I first got some my husband got me these little tiny holder things that you could get online got me a bunch of them and a bunch of the placers and everything so that was really nice so I got some of those but I would say I'm still in the learning stage of diamond painting I've watched some diamond painting videos and I'm like wow these people are amazing Okay, I think I finally got the tens. Oh, one more. If not, I'll always go back. I'm going to have to go over these probably a little bit better when I'm done. Okay, so I think I'll do like two more colors maybe and we'll color good. So I'll do number 12. So I got to put this one back. This was 10 pale blue. So let me get that. So I'll do dark blue next. And this is Crayola and this just says blue. So I thought that would work for like a darker blue. So I'll do just a little bit more. I think I'll do one more after this. We'll see. Yeah, that will work for a blue for me. Um, so if you watched some of my previous videos, I have colored in some of those lines and dots books. They're really fun to color in. But have any of you guys, or do any of you guys have spiroglyphics? I do not have any of those books, but I seen some when I was browsing coloring books online. And I was like, those look really fun. These are really tiny here.
So they look really cool. It's like a spiral, but you color and it shows like pictures of things. Could be like buildings, a famous person. Super cool. So maybe sometime I'll get one of those. We'll see. I always say we'll see because you never know what I'm coloring in or what I'm in the mood for. What I want to buy. I don't want to overdo it. Okay. Oops. Yeah, these would look, this would work really well if you had those super tiny, fine tip markers. Some of these are really, really tiny. Okay, now I gotta see. everybody done with their Christmas shopping? We are done. My husband actually wrapped some gifts the other night. I said I would do it, but I think he secretly doesn't mind it. Because I'm terrible at wrapping presents. I am. Terrible. I always cut them like too short or something and it's all folded up weird. Oh, I missed a 10. Let me grab that pale blue quick while I see it. Right here. Put this filler in quick. Okay. So how many videos do you guys upload a week? Or do you do it weekly or once a month or? So I try, I don't know if I'll always be this way, I'm hoping, but you never know, things can come up. Life gets hectic sometimes. I try to do it three times a week. Usually, I post videos Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. But, you know, that could change. But that's what I've been doing lately, and it works pretty good. I don't know if that part's supposed to be like with it or what it's supposed to be. I got it kind of a little bit over here. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll just do it anyway. I'm sure it'll look fine. I'm just going to kind of go like this. We'll see. I don't think I held up the picture for you that I remember with the pale blues. I'll have to hold this up here in a minute after I color maybe this blue.
So this is what it's looking like so far. It's a fun book. I think it's pretty relaxing. Push it up a little more so I'm not hiding it. So sometimes when I color for you guys, I feel like my videos are too long. And I don't want to shorten them all, you know, because I want you to see the true how I color. Not just speeding them up all the time, even though that can be fun sometimes. But in my mind, it's like, hurry up, hurry up, we need to hurry up. But I have to tell myself, because my mind's constant, it doesn't really shut off, I don't think. But it's okay. That's who I am. And if you don't like it, I guess, well, sorry. Just the way I am. I know I just think sometimes they're too long. So when I talk myself down in my head and say, you know, it's all right, coloring's supposed to be fun and relaxing, and it's not a race. Why do you need a race to hurry up to color to get started on another page? You do what you can. That's what I tell myself. And I sit back and think, you know, you're right. I started this channel just to talk to people that have anxiety and color to relieve stress and enjoy the same hobbies I do. So, I'm not gonna, you know, why would you change yourself? Just how I think for myself anyway. But I'm a constant worrier too, so that's probably why I think those things. Worrier and I get nervous easy. Sometimes I think it gets worse the older I get. But this does help. It really does. And my kids and my husband help too. I hope you guys are coloring along or doing one of your favorite hobbies while watching or listening. I think it's actually fun to listen to other people and what they want to talk about. Or if they don't want to talk, that's fine too. Whatever. I'm happy with it either way. I like them all. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cough, excuse me. <laughs> Had like a weird tickle in my throat. That came out of nowhere.
to any of you have any really detailed coloring books. It doesn't have to be like color by number. Or what's your most detailed coloring book? Well, I don't even know what mine would be. Is it Kirby Roseanne's? I might be saying it wrong, sorry. Those coloring books look fun. There's a lot of detail, but I I don't own any of them yet. They are on my list. But I think those would be a good challenge to do. And I want to learn how to make a short video, which I know I got a gif how you can do it, but I want to find a picture that I can do the short with. So I'm thinking about doing a, starting some of those eventually at some point. Looking at my books and color books. I'm thinking about which one I should do a short in. I'm thinking maybe a smaller picture because I am so slow at coloring that you probably wouldn't see much if I just did one. If I was doing now, you wouldn't see much of the page. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see where these colors lead because sometimes I go around and a few of them look like they mixed in with another color, so... And this one goes up here. This is going to have a lot of number 12s. This color, I can tell you now. So this might actually be the last color I do tonight. So I might have only gotten to do three with you, but you know, I can do some more in the next one. And then if I don't finish it, I'll just do... it myself and then surprise you guys and say, hey, look, I finished it. <laughs> because I don't think I'm going to do another three-parter. Okay, let's see. Do you guys use Crayola colored pencils? Or what is your favorite colored pencil to use? I've probably asked some of these before. I just... And I probably responded, and probably some of them are on my wish list, but I forget. My mind's constantly going. It really is. My husband will be like, I just told you that. 
and I'll be like, what? You did? When? And I know I'd hurt him. Just how it works out, I guess. Sometimes. It's going to be really pretty, I think, when they're done. Or do you have a favorite marker you like to use or a favorite gel pen? Well, gel pens color the best. I'd be interested in that. I'm still debating on getting some. Like I said, I had a ton of gel pens and then I think they all dried up because I haven't used them in years. And I brought some back to life, but pretty rough. So I'm still up in the air if I want to use them. Because I use them a lot for like when I colored mandalas or like the brain game coloring books. I love those too. So those are I basically I use those for. Not too much of anything else. I was thinking since I annotate my books, I use those little book tabs to keep track of my coloring pages. I was thinking of using those. I've seen people use those and I use those for my books for annotation. I don't annotate all my books. Do you guys know what annotating is? Basically it's for my favorite books. If there's certain parts that I like, I actually write in my book. Books. And highlight and there's certain descriptions like certain tabs. Certain color tabs for certain things. Like I do mine by like in a book, if I loved this, there'll be a certain tab and underline. Or if I hated that part in a book, I'll do it for like the story or plot. And characters and random thoughts. And that's basically all I do. All those little tabs. It'll be different colors. And like I said, I don't tab all my books. They have to be books that I really, really, really enjoyed. Which I like my books, yes, but there's some that just stick out more. I want to read over and over. So that's what I do when I annotate. And I write it in the inside, usually of the book. When you open the page, there's usually like a blank spot or a little spot. I write what it means and stick the tab color in there. Okay. Maybe I'll just color down to this part. I don't know. Because my next video will probably be long too. It is very detailed though. Okay, any more 12s? So there's quite a few up here, I think. So then I'll just do the 12s, and then after that I'll call it 
good after that. so you guys can see it. That's my other picture. See, it does bleed through, and I use markers on that page. Okay. Here's a 12. So I hope you guys don't mind longer videos. Do you like longer videos or shorter videos, or does it even matter? Because I'm probably still going to post longer videos, just saying. I like to talk to you guys. So far, all of you people that have commented, and I've seen the comments are, have been really nice. And I appreciate all you and all my subscribers so much. It's really nice to know that people like my content and like to talk and enjoy the things that I do. And a lot of you that are subscribers, I enjoy the things you do, too. So that's perfect. Meeting new people and chatting. I don't talk to people too, too much outside. Like my family, of course, and some of my close friends occasionally, but mm -mm, outside of YouTube, not really. Then I'm more of a homebody, so. I miss some tens over here. I better grab that so I don't forget. I mean, I could go back, like I say, but if I see it, I might as well just get it. Get it while it's there. Grab that over here. Sorry, I turned my page. It's my... I have a habit of doing that. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed. I just tilt the page. <laughs> just to have it. Okay, got the tens. Let me put that back so I don't mix that up. Some more twelves. So yeah, this will be my last color. It's getting pretty late. I have to get up in the morning. Get my son ready for school. His last day, and then it's Christmas vacation, and he's so excited. Gets nine days off. Anyone got any special plans for New Year's? We usually hang out at home with the kids and we make like appetizers and just kind of have a snacky day. I made pizza pull apart bread last New Year's and we usually play games. The kids usually want to play in the Wii. Well, my son did. Now my daughter, she might be well old enough to play some of the games. So we might do that again this year and play some game boards. Just kind of hang out. We don't usually make it till, you know, New Year's all day with the kids. I usually, every New Year's, I'm always in bed, I feel like, before it's midnight. On normal nights, I'm up past midnight. But I don't know what it is, because we're being busy all day and doing all the fun things and... We'll see. I tell myself, you know, you can stay up, but usually I'm tired. I 
No, I take that back. Last year, I think we stayed up. Well, it would have been midnight Eastern time. And watch the ball. We try to watch the ball drop. Every year. I remember being a kid and having a sleepover at my friend's house and her parents had like a get together with a bunch of friends over for New Year's. Everybody was, it was fun. And she was like my best friend, second grade. And we met, we're still friends. So it's amazing how long a friendship can last. We don't talk as much, but you know, when we do, it's just like same old times, which is really nice. Yeah, they had the little horns and then the, I don't remember what they're called. We'd like swing them around. I call them crankers. I don't know if that's what they're called. Noise crankers and make all the noise. She only lived a block away from me, so it wasn't that far. And I wasn't scared to stay. Some nights I used to, when I was younger, I'd get so scared. I think it was because of her dog. I was afraid of her dog. And I want to go home. I was just like, I need to go home. So I lived close by. But I don't think I ever did go home. Maybe I did once or twice, but her mom was always pretty nice, calming down and... I got really nervous around her dog. I I think I got nervous because I was bitten by dogs a couple times when I was a kid. I had a neighbor friend that's dog that bit me. Well, we were on the swing in the backyard, came up and just bit me. Poor thing was probably scared I was swinging and gonna hit it or something. I don't know, the dog was far back, I remember. I just came and ran and up and jumped and bit me. And then it tried again when my brother and her brother were playing video game. I was there just hanging out and watching them play and the dog charged at me again. Sad, but I don't know. Just didn't like me. Or didn't like kids. I don't know. I was young. I don't even know how old I was. I was really young because I don't think I was friend I don't think I was friends I had to be like five I think I probably was like five because I wasn't friends with my friend yet in second grade so I think I was probably five So I think I'm just going to finish this one flower and then maybe I'll color a little bit longer. It is getting late. Though. So me and my husband are talking maybe of watching the new Hunger Games movie. I think it's Songbirds, Ballads of Songbirds and Saints, I think. Have any of you guys seen that yet? Since it is new, I really want to see it. I love the Hunger Games. Any of you guys Hunger Games fans? So I'm hoping we'll get to watch that soon. We'll see. But I know tomorrow we're watching Trolls with the kids. So.
All right, so let's see. Sorry, I was just looking at the picture. So tomorrow I plan on getting some cleaning done and making a big old pan of lasagna. Ever since I was at my sister's with the kids decorating cookies and we had lasagna, I'm just like, I don't want to make some lasagna now. I'm craving it, and I got some French bread, French baguette, to heat up. So that's my plan. Hopefully my daughter will eat it. She's hit and miss. Sometimes she'll eat lasagna, sometimes she won't. She doesn't like any vegetable at all. So I'm trying to figure out that too. But I guess my son didn't at first either, and now he loves it all, so maybe just a texture thing I'm thinking. Well, at least that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Can you guys see it, all the color in there? Okay, I'm gonna finish this flower and then I think I'm gonna call it a night and then I'll try to finish the rest of the flower and then probably talk to you guys in my next color in chat. Ooh, this is a big flower. And my pencil's starting to get a little dull too, so. All right, I'm gonna go this little part and then we'll call her good. So if you made it this far, I'm going to try something new. Since it's the first day of winter, if you want to leave, leave a comment, you can. Otherwise, leave a snowflake emoji. Let me know you made it this far. Okay, and that's all that we're going to color for tonight. See you on a part two video. This is what it's turning out to be. I don't know if you guys can tell very much. The flowers are starting to form. We haven't got too much done yet. So yeah, I'll leave the book linked down below. It is Anti-Stress Color by Numbers, David Woodruff. I'm using a variety of colored pencils, so I'll leave the book linked down below. And if you like this content, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any more of my videos, please consider subscribing by hitting that bell button down below. And always, happy coloring and thanks for watching. Bye!